damn, Hamza Simaev just beat Gilbert Burns by a thread. And man, it was absolutely not how most of us did not think how the fight would go. Gilbert was a bit timid in the start of the first round, but he brought the fight to him as the fight progressed. The most important takeaway from that post-fight interview with Joe Rogan of Hamzat is that he absolutely underestimated Gilbert Burns as most of us UFC fans had done as well. You can just see and hear how absolutely surprised he was that Gilbert Burns was so tough and it was not a walkthrough at all. When Hamzat said Gilbert is too little and he had no power, he just was saying so me power and so me power. It was not trash talk. He really meant it. And he was absolutely surprised at this fight. It was a very, very rude awakening for Hamza to take his opponents very seriously because you just can't go through Usman like that. He was confident, which is a good thing, but kind of reckless, which counters it. Hindsight, I think we all should be glad he fought Burns and it went like a war because if he had jabbed Burns and TKO'd him in the first round, he would have been extremely confident and cocky going into the Usman fight, which would have been a delusion, given the fact that his striking defense was not on point and he would have fought reckless against Usman. From a medical perspective, I don't think he sustained any major injuries in this fight. He had a few cuts in his head and a nosebleed as well. He got dropped a couple times. Big right hand from Gilbert at the end of the second round was a bit concerning, but I don't think he suffered any concussion. At least it didn't appear so while watching the fight. Hamzad needs at least a few weeks to recover from those traumatic blows and refrain from any hard training for a couple of weeks to recover fully from those traumatic blows. Now I know from previous interviews he had openly said that he would not get bothered to be knocked out or get defeated and he was always looking forward to a war. But even the people and his coaches in the camp we're so confident that he's going to walk through Burns and that's what we thought because every fighter says that they have heard stories about this kid and something like that. The issue that I have is whether he's underestimating Usman or not. I have heard in his, his interview with Daniel Cormier. Brother, 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 Usman almost on the cup, brother. His niche doesn't work. His back hurts. His arm hurts. The operation everywhere, you know, like the guy is too old and Who's he's too slow. Oh, yeah, he's too slow. You know, it is the, like they want to like make money, how they talk. Dad. Usman is just old and he's just done with this sport and something like that. If he really thinks that and believes that and that's not trash talk, there will probably be a rude awakening for his camp again. I think he just speaks his mind. He's very, very humble. That post-fight interview with Joe Rogan, he said what he had exactly thought about the fight, how he was surprised by this fight. I think he'll come back stronger now that he knows that he has absolute real competition moving ahead, whether it's Kobe Covington or Usman or even Israel Adesanya. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to read your comments. I'd definitely update about any major injuries sustained in that fight. Thank you.